get us back on course here. Okay, previously we have been using RWS, or Range Wall Scan. Now we're going to switch to a different mode called TWS, or Track While Scan. This is going to allow us to track multiple targets. It will also allow us to fire on them simultaneously using the AIM-120 AMRAM. Increasing the range scale here, and we see we have two targets in a row. Perfect. Switching to TWS mode. Um, before I do that, notice that we have two dashes, and then a circle, and then two more dashes. The circles represent a friendly aircraft. The dashes represent hostile aircraft. The radar on board the F-15 contains an IFF system, or Identification Friend or Foe. We're going to make sure we're not going to fire on that friendly. Okay, I've switched to TWS mode here. Notice that the targets have changed. Instead of locking them, I've just bugged them. This I, you just do by hitting the tab key once over each target. The radar tracks the targets, but doesn't actively go into STT mode and alert the target. All the target hears on a threat warning receiver is a search tone. When we launch, the targets won't know they've been launched on until the AIM-120s go active. This makes for a very advantageous radar mode. In TWS, similar bars and dots are shown. However, they also have lines coming out of them representing their heading vectors. They also have numbers on top of them representing their altitude in thousands of feet. TWS is the preferred radar mode for F-15 pilots and gives you superior situational awareness than RWS. Watching the Dills bar, waiting for them to come in range. Now when they do come in range, I'm still going to wait to fire, give them a better probability of kill. Currently in the HUD, only one target is shown in the box. When we fire our first AMRAM, the box will then switch to the next target. When we fire our second AMRAM, the box will switch back to the first target. Okay, I think we're in good range now. Arrow, Fox 3 twice. One thing I forgot to mention that at the bottom of the VSD, it will tell you what type of target it is. In this case, we are looking at a transport aircraft, an IL-76. Watching for our kills now. Any second now. There's one. And there's two. Arrow, splash two, and three. IL-76. There's that friendly we were looking at. Gotta make sure we don't fire at him. Oh, and there are two more bad guys behind him. Because the AIM-120 is an active missile, it will go after a target regardless of whose side it is on. Therefore, we must wait for the friendly to pass us before we engage the last two bandits, if we are going to do so in TWS mode. One of them dropped off the scope. I'm just going to work the radar a little bit and see if I can pick him up again. There he is. Uh, using the same procedure as last time, just gonna bug both of them. Waiting for the friendly to pass by. Okay, looks like we're in good range. Arrow, Fox 3. Arrow, Fox 3 again. There 
there's a plane. Splash one. And there's two. Arrow splash four and five and twenty six. One thing I should add is that um, TWS only works with the AIM 120 AMRAM. This works in the whole principle that um, it requires an active missile. Um, anything else would not work. The AIM 7 would not work as it is not able to guide itself autonomously as required by TWS. This concludes this tutorial. I am 104th Aero Flight Instructor in the 104th Phoenix Virtual Fighter Bomber Squadron. Feel free to visit our website, www.104thphoenix.com. There you can register and view our forums and find information to join our TeamSpeak 3 server. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and look forward to more in the future.